A judge issued a temporary restraining order against a group of ballot box watchers after complaints of voter intimidation here in the Valley. Yeah, and this has been a story that our Nicole Grigg broke and we have been closely following for you ever since. ABC 15's Ashley Holden explains what this means and what could come next. I was hoping I wouldn't see any of them today and luckily they're not here. <laughs> Jana Price is talking about people like this armed and in body armor. These people were spotted at this same drop box in Mesa just a few weeks ago. And I figured if they were here, I would just do my drop off and ignore them and just go about my business and not let them intimidate me. But after multiple complaints of ballot box watchers allegedly intimidating voters, temporary restraining orders were requested. The group at the center, Clean Elections USA. Their website says they're recruiting people across the country to watch ballot drop boxes in an effort to detect fraud. In the case brought by the legal voter and protect democracy. Um, the judge heard really powerful testimony from uh, voters about the impact of this intimidation. Just days after one restraining order was denied, multiple groups fought in U.S. District Court for an order that was more specific. The judge heard from voters who had gone to drop boxes and been harassed by people at them and been accused of, uh, of you know, committing a crime and had their pictures posted online. Tuesday, a judge put a temporary restraining order in place, placing some restrictions on ballot box watchers with Clean Elections USA. Some were agreed on by all parties, including box watchers with Clean Elections USA must stand 75 feet away from a drop box. They're prohibited from following people, dropping off ballots, and openly carrying guns or wearing body armor within 250 feet. But the judge went further, prohibiting the group from recording or taking pictures of people that are within 75 feet of a ballot box. I think he really struck a, a good balance yesterday in um, allowing people to still monitor from, from a distance um, but not engage in harmful activities that would intimidate voters. The founder of Clean Elections USA, Melody Jennings, disagrees, voicing her opinion this morning on Steve Bannon's war room. Uh, the First Amendment law says that we're not allowed to take pictures or video uh, at the drop boxes in Arizona. So that, that seems a little bit like an infraction of the First Amendment. We're told time for an appeal is running out with Election Day around the corner. In the Valley, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona. Ashley, thank you. Meantime, Melody Jennings did release a statement directly to ABC 15 saying, quote, we will continue to be grateful for and abide by the law and continue to be grateful for citizens casting their votes. Vote, pray, get involved, end quote.